Hi guys, it's Miss Stefan. We're going to read chapter 17. John. John had light brown hair and a round head. He was Joe's best friend. John was one of the smartest boys in Mrs. Jewel's class, but he had one problem. He could only read words written upside down. Nobody ever wrote anything upside down, but it was only a little problem. John was still in the high reading group. He just turned his book, set up, his book upside down. It was easier for John to turn his book upside down than it, to learn to read correctly. But the easiest way isn't always the best way. Mrs. Jewel said, John, you can't go on reading like this. You can't spend the rest of your life turning up books upside down. Why not, asked John. Because I said so, said Mrs. Jules. Besides, what happens when I write something on the blackboard? You can't turn the blackboard upside down. No, I guess you're right, said John. I know I'm right, said Miss Jules. You're going to have to learn to stand up on your head. John couldn't stand on his head. He had given up trying. You would have to if you had fallen over as many times as he had. Joe was John's best friend. He could stand on John's head. Every time John fell over, Joe stood on his head. After all, what are best friends for? My head is too round, Mrs. Jules. I can't stand on it, said John. Of course you can, John, said Mrs. Jules. If Joe can stand on your head, so can you. It's easy, John, said Joe. I can't, John repeated. I always fall over. Nonsense, said Miss Jules. All you have to do is find your center of balance. Now up you go. John put his round head on the floor and swung his legs up. He fell right over. Then Joe stood on John's head. See, John? It's easy. Nothing to it, Joe said. We'll help you, John, said Mrs. Jules. Joe, get off John's head and get me a pillow from under my desk. Nancy, Calvin, come here and give us a hand. Mrs. Jules took the pillow from Joe and set it on the floor. All right, John, we'll surround you, she said. We won't let you fall. John put his head on the pillow and swung his legs up. He started to fall one way, but Nancy pushed him back up. Then he started to fall another way, but Calvin straightened him out. John kept falling a little bit this way and that way until at last he found his center of balance. Now the words are upside down. Ah, who, hey, ha, ha. Down upside it turned to have... I'll have to turn the book upside down. Hey, look at me, look at me, said John. I'm up. I'm really up. I'm standing on my head. I found my center of balance. It's beautiful. I can read the blackboard. Hey, Calvin, bring me a book. And you don't have to turn it upside down. Ha, ha, hey. Ah. Bam. While Calvin went to get the book, John fell flat on his face. You better stay off my head, Joe, he warned. Are you all right, John, asked Miss Jules. Yes, I think so. I feel a little funny. Hey, I can still read the blackboard and I'm not upside down. I can read right side up now. When I fell, I must have flipped my brain or something. That is wonderful, John, said Mrs. Jules. Here, put the pillow back under my desk. As a reward, you may have a Tootsie Roll pop. There are my coffee can on top of my desk. John placed the pillow on top of her desk. Then he looked under the desk, but he couldn't find the Tootsie Roll pops anywhere. That's funny. Alright guys, tomorrow is chapter 18, Leslie. See you then!